so when your makeup terribly goes wrong new makeup that i bought and actually really thought that it was going to look cute never again will i try this brand so you guys please don't come for me because my makeup looks really crappy yeah kind of like this today what's up you guys so today is another lace wig video this video is by a company called mega look so we're gonna do this video we're gonna get through it i want to try something different out on camera i did try this method on a mannequin head had to change my shirt several times before i even get into this video okay so i'm at the dollar tree yes the dollar tree i'm seeing like some new products at the dollar tree which i was kind of apprehensive about i've tried many different edge controls before and a lot of times with these different edge tamers edge controls they're so greasy my hair slicks down for like the minute and then after the minute it's done there's no more edge there's no more laid down it's ghost like the laid down part is gone So I was really apprehensive when I seen this brand. Okay, so like I've gotten some of their gel, the softy brand, you know, the black gel from back in the days. I love that gel. It's good. It's kind of light based. It kind of works somewhat. But when I seen that they had the perfect edge control, best value, I said, okay, yeah, right. This is stuff. It's probably going to be greasy and it's probably going to work just like all the other edge controls that I have in my edge control collection. Let me just give this a try. It can't hurt. It's only a dollar. Girl, let me tell y'all. First of all, this little dollar edge control is actually non-greasy, which was like a blessing to me. I was really amazed by the power of the edge control for a dollar, okay? So my edges were stuck down all day until the next morning when I slept. I don't wear a bonnet. I just sleep with my hair out in a bun. So they actually laid down, sis. So if you guys have a Dollar Tree and you see this softy, pick it up. You will thank me later. Other than that, I just went and picked up some new foundation. Um, I really wasn't there for the foundation. I don't really go to the drugstore and get foundation because my skin is so oily that it just really doesn't hold for me all day. I seen this here by Soap and Glory. This was on clearance for $6.99. It's their kick-ass all-day wear foundation. I didn't really like it. It kind of gives me like this dull finish. I'm not really sure how long it's going to last and how I really feel about it. I wasn't really too thrilled, and the coverage was not really buildable. Other than that, let's get on to this week tutorial by Mega Lux. When your package arrives, you will receive this light pink box. It's really a sturdy box, but I'm pretty sure you guys don't really care about the box. Inside the box, you will find a removable elastic band that you can either wear in or out, and it's also adjustable. You'll also receive this brochure along with a gift bag. In the gift bag, I did receive some tweezers to pre-pluck the hairline along with that I did receive some bobby pins in this cute little pouch right here I also received a tropical headband that you can wear if you choose to and along with that you'll also get an wig cap <laughs> just so that you can wear it underneath your wig to make it look like scalpage okay so this is the unit. She is 22 inches and she is a 360 lace frontal. I do believe the density is 150%. As you guys can tell, she'll definitely need to be bleached, which I did do off camera. And the lace color looks like it will blend you know kind of very close to my skin tone i don't think that the lace is transparent but we will see once we do the tutorial and i will be using the purple shampoo just to take out any of the brassiness so they did put this as a yakky straight wig but the texture is more or less kinky to me because it's more fuller and it's more textured for 22 inches at 150 percent density for 360 lace frontal i do think the price is really fair and decent and also the unit does come with a lot of different amenities if you like gifts in your packaging so I'll leave all of the information down below for mega look so they did send me their kinky straight 360 I think it's 360 yeah a kinky straight 360 22 inch lace wig now originally i did ask for the 26 inches i know 26 inches i was i was reaching i mean i tried never hurts to try for the 22 inch of this particular magnitude a 360 lace frontal they say it's yakky straight but it's really kinky straight um 
22 inches is actually $165, which is not bad at all for a 360. And they do have like a bunch of coupon codes. They're saying that the wig is actually on sale right now. The normal price is supposed to be $331. I think that's a bunch of hoopla. They always do that. Like they put the higher prices and they put a strike through them and put it as a lower price, making you feel like you got a really good deal for this price, this item or whatever. And in reality, that's the price that they really want it for. So, I mean, I don't really know, but $165 is pretty decent. There isn't a option to choose light or medium brown lace. So I guess I didn't choose anything. So it's 100% virgin Brazilian hair and you can dye it and you can iron it. Iron by your favor. I don't know. I did bleach the knots. Uh, yeah, I definitely bleached the knots. I did purple shampoo it. I did pre-pluck it. And um, I did hot comb it. And I also flat ironed it. So it came out really smooth after the process. I actually do like the outcome of the hair. So I'm kind of like psyched to try this out. Got these two little braids here in the front. I'm gonna do a widow's peak. We're gonna try this out. I'm gonna be honest about some of these adjustable straps or these elastic bands that, you know, they sew in and they have like the hooks. So sometimes that I've noticed with these is that they put the portion, they put the pop, the hood. Uh, they put the um, portion. They actually put the tabs by the ears too close okay so it kind of makes your wig kind of like lump up sometimes not every wig company but some of them have the part the part where you actually hook it onto a little bit too close right here so i'm not like a really huge fan of these because they can be a little bulky it has like the combs what the hell Okay, so these combs are a little bit smaller than normal. All right, girl. They have like these little doll baby combs on them. Really tiny. I really would have wished the one in the back was a lot bigger than this. Like whose nape is this small? So let's just get into this. We are going to style and profile, honey. At least I hope I'm going to be able to profile. Okay, so here we go. Let's put this wig on and do this video. So as you guys see what I'm talking about, these things sometimes are, are sewn really close to your temple, so it kind of makes it look bulky. And these little pieces right here are where I carved out or parted for a widow's peak. So I just thought I would tweeze it on camera for you guys to show you. You definitely could just cut it out, but you know, I really didn't want to cut it out because what if I would have cut out too much? So I just decided to tweeze it out. You know what I'm saying? And like I'm showing you, you guys I didn't really use all the hair that I parted out so good thing I didn't cut it out now here's the best part which is cutting the lace now finally I got me some new eyebrow trimmers so I'm gonna try out cutting the lace with my eyebrow trimmers in my next tutorial video that I record tomorrow sometime but yeah I got me a new pair these little scissors though are bomb as heck you will definitely see that they are sharp later on in this video but yeah they're really sharp scissors I did not realize that but you guys will see so I'm just gonna cut the lace off and I could have cut where the actual part was at for the widow's peak but I wanted to do that after because I didn't really want to cut the lace off where I made the widow's peak and was not happy about the lace being gone you know so we'll just see how that works out but right now I'm just cutting the excess piece of lace because the ear tabs are kind of like over my own ears as you guys see so you just take your rat tail comb and you part it directly above your ear and you just cut off that extra piece of lace try not to cut too much you know because if you cut too much then girl you might be screwed so just take your time with this part now if you haven't already cleaned your hairline make sure you do you don't want any type of you know makeup or oil or a dirty face but because your wig would not lay down right so yeah make sure you do that and then you want to just go ahead and part yourself some baby hairs or wispy hairs whatever you want to call it and that's what I'm doing right here so I did at first put this hairspray underneath that's why the hair is a little bit wet right there but it just wasn't working out in my favor with this 360 so I just parted it on the outside and put the hairspray in between the part that you see me pressing down on it's always good to have a good rat tail comb girl for real because they do come in handy but I would totally advise you guys strongly advise you like not totally but you know totally advise you guys to get you a metal rat tail comb because the plastic ones 
ones they start to get really sticky from the products that you use so the metal ones are a whole lot better now see this is the part where I decided to cut off the lace where the widow's peak was at and being that the lace is already stuck down with some hairspray I figured this wouldn't hurt you know that's what I tried but now I'm going to go ahead and cut me or cut my baby hairs and wispy hairs to the length that I desire and along with that my sideburn hairs you know let me tell you guys I am really not thrilled about this entire makeup like seriously I thought it looked really good until I got on camera and really was not happy about that but you know you win some you lose some can't always win now right here I'm just brushing down the sideburns and the baby hairs and I'm going to be using my got to be luxury smooth operator mousse. I love this stuff. It works really good. I'm just going to dab some on my toothbrush and then sculpt those baby hairs. My handy dandy green toothbrush always makes its appearance in my videos because this is the most trusted one ever. And I'm definitely going to cut some of that sideburn hair. You'll, you won't see me cut it but it will be cut off because it was a little bit too long in that area. And now I'm going to use the Got To Be Glue, uh, Got To Be Glam Force Gel. The reason why I have it in a jar is because it oxidizes it so it's not runny. So if you pour a little bit or squeeze a little bit out into a jar or squeeze the whole daggone thing out into a jar, it will make the product a lot thicker which will allow it to dry faster and stick down a whole lot better versus it being runny. And the gel really works good. Honestly, it does. So I'm just going to go ahead and sculpt in those baby hairs. You don't have to use all of them. You know, I just cut enough so that way I have enough. I was having a little bit of difficulties here because I should have really cut that lace off. You know, first time Widow's Peak wasn't like working out somewhat, not really in my favor. And so as you guys see here, I'm going back in with the scissors trying to get the lace that I didn't want on the wig. I'm trying to cut it off, which I am doing a successful job at it. But right here is where I actually did not do like a really successful job with the cutting. You know what I mean? Cutting it off, as you guys will be able to see. And the hairspray works really well. And okay. So here's the part where I just started bleeding. Like I did not even feel myself cut myself. Like seriously, you guys, this is like a bad moment. When cutting your lace wig goes terribly wrong. Seriously, I'm like bleeding and I'm still going at it. Real trooper. But don't try this at home. Just pull the, the lace up. Okay, you guys, so this like went dreadfully wrong, like seriously dreadfully wrong. I have never in my life cut myself to where I was, <laughs> listen, I ain't never cut my, my hairline ever doing any of my videos and so a girl got to bleeding, okay, call 911. Is it that serious to where I had to really dig in to get to like to remove the lace? So I, I went and put some bastardation ointment on it. Dang, girl. This is like when as natural as possible with your lace wig goes definitely wrong. Okay, so I like the widow's peak, but I'm not feeling the the injury. I feel like a battle wound from <laughs> applying a lace wig. Like, not a freaking burn mark, but a cut. Okay.
for you guys. So I gotta make this real quick. I gotta make this really, really quick because I have to take Nate to work. So it actually turned out good despite the fact that I, you know, kind of like <laughs> nicked my forehead. You know, it lays flat. I do like the texture of it. It's really soft. It's not yakky. It's more or less kinky. But I mean, like, you know, it's a gorgeous hair. This is one of my favorite textures, which is kinky or yakky, whatever you want to call it. I do like yakky hair too. And I also do like kinky. It just looks more natural. And you know, I do love curly hair or wavy hair because I don't have to do much with it. But I like this texture so much that, you know, I would prefer my whole entire wig collection to be like kinky or yakky hair. Just, just my preference. So as for the makeup, I'm not really like a huge fan of it, but you know, you win some, you lose some. I'm gonna still give it another try. As for the widow's peak, I think I did kind of decent, despite the fact that I just nicked the heck out of myself. And the lace is not transparent, which sucks, but it's still, you know, it's not a game breaker, but you can definitely like work around it and basically use your makeup because it was a little bit too dark for me, sis. But you know, I just used my pressed powder and, you know, pressed it in. Like I can see the lace, but I'm pretty sure someone that is not so close up to me can see, can't see the lace. I mean, you could do a lot of different things with this 360. Like, it looks cute. Like, I think it looks really really cute hello but you can check out mega look i'll definitely leave their information below i got to go and on that note i'll see you guys in another video uh, uh,